Hey everyone, how's it going tonight? Anthony here with Maritime Foam, or the Nerf King and my Foam Empire, as CBC has taken to say. Uh, they were goofing around, and I love that they were. Very creative with their titles. It's been a lot of fun lately. There have been a couple stories. There is a great radio interview with Julia Wright. I'm going to put the link to that down below. And very recently, there was an interview with CBC Television where they talked to me about my love for the hobby, how I got into it, why I'm into it, and that was a lot of fun to kind of sum all that up and tell that story. It's funny to me because back in the summer, a couple weeks after I created my YouTube channel, I had a call from the Times Globe here in St. John wondering if they could talk to me about doing a little bit of a story on my channel. I laughed and said I would love to talk to you, but basically right now it's only a few friends of my mom that follows me. They were good sports, they did the story. I have several copies of it. Nerf Gun Enthusiast turns hobby into YouTube fodder. I was very amused. And here I am, I'm used again. I hope you'll check out the link to the CBC Radio story. It's down below. I hope you'll check out the link to the CBC Television story. It's down below. My spot is on about the 27 minute mark, or you can watch on a little bit in this video. I just wanted to share because I'm having so much fun. I hope I represented the hobby well in talking about it, and I hope you get a kick out of it too. This is the Nerf King, signing off. Well, any child of the 80s or 90s might have memories of shooting or dodging those little foam darts fired from a toy gun. The weapon of choice, of course, was the Nerf gun. A St. John man has rekindled his love for the bright plastic toys. What began as a pandemic hobby has grown into a massive empire that's expanded into a side hustle. CBC's Graham Thompson went to dodge the foam darts firsthand. Work. Oh, I don't... Maritime Foam kind of started as a justification for my massive and growing Nerf collection. I've been asked a few times how many. I keep meaning to count, and then I start counting, and I, and I, and I lose interest in counting. It's definitely between two and three hundred. I, I think it might be a little more. I do have a lot of duplicates that I use for parties so that all the kids have kind of a similar thing to play with. It's kind of split into the collection I have for parties and the collection I have that is for me, which is a mix of vintage stuff, higher performance blasters and just ones that I really like. When people are talking about Nerf, they're talking about any blaster or anything that fires a foam projectile uh, at someone else uh, to tag them out. <laughs> One thing that I do mention to people, obviously I have a massive collection and I'm really into it. It can be a lot of fun and a very inclusive hobby. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can go and get a couple used blasters for five bucks a piece and have a bunch of fun. The other thing I would say to people is if you can get two, play with your kids, play games with them, make up your own games. That's what will make the toys more fun and make them last and get them out playing and having exercise. I take my kids to the playground and we all play together. As I was having fun collecting and tinkering and playing, you know, Nerf Wars in the backyard with the kids and with friends, I realized, well, hey, this could be a fun thing to do for parties. Lots of kids are familiar with Nerf, but they're not very familiar with actually playing structured games. And just like it's a lot more fun to play a hockey game than it is to slap a puck against a wall. It's a lot more fun, I think, to play a structured game on a team playing Nerf than it is to just fire at cups all day. This has really been just such a, a gateway into the hobby, a fun first project. I started my YouTube channel towards the end of the summer. That kind of became a way to still have fun and modify things and create things at a time where I wasn't super comfortable doing too many parties. I like the the normal off-the-shelf stuff for playing with the kids and for running parties. And I like 3D printing and modifying blasters to make them way, way more high performance for playing with friends and to do kind of demo galleries at parties. That's always a big hit. I have one that can fire 20 to 30 foam balls a second from an air-fed tank that holds almost 500. And when I let kids at parties try that, that is always a massive hit and I always enjoy seeing it and it's just always a big laugh for everybody. <laughs> Up next, the Nerf Cannon. That's how things look in our province on this day and for this week. If you'd like to find out more, log on to our CBC News website. You'll find your Brunswick stories there 24 hours a day. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here on Monday evening. It's a snowy, messy night tonight, so if you're out, be careful walking and driving. Have a good and safe weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.